Right, this video is going to take a look at the, the difficulties in trying to measure uh, two signals that are at dramatically different frequencies at the same time. And uh, it really comes down to playing a game of uh, sample rate and record length uh, in the scope. So on the signal generator right here, I've got two channels. One channel is putting out a signal at uh, 1.5 kilohertz, and the other one is at uh, 15 megahertz. Okay, so they're coming out here on channel 1 and channel 2 respectively and bring them over here into the scope. So right now if we're looking here at channel 1, this is the 1.5 gigahertz or 1.5 kilohertz signal. Look down here at a frequency measurement, I can see it's 1.5 kilohertz. And there's the signal on the scope screen, uh, no problem. So if we kind of switch this over and put the 15 megahertz signal up on the screen here and kind of speed this thing up here a little bit, I can see that this guy is indeed oh, 15 megahertz. Okay. So let's see what happens when we try to look at both of these at the same time. So I'll put uh, the 15 megahertz signal on channel 2, the 1.5 kilohertz signal on channel 1. Let's bring this back down here. So there's my 1.5 kilohertz signal again. I look at the, its measurement down here. Everything looks good. 1.5 kilohertz. Let's turn on channel 2. Okay. Well, in doing that, I really can't see much on channel 2, right? So, you know, what's going on there? Well, uh, one of the things that we're, we can see by looking at this is that we're running at just 10 mega samples per second, because right? we're running at a very low sweep speed effectively, or uh, time scale, 100 microseconds per division, and uh, at a 10,000 point record length, which is our default here, that translates to 10 mega samples per second. Well, 10 mega samples per second is undersampling this 15 megahertz signal. So I'm not going to get an accurate representation of that. And we can actually see that if we actually turn a measurement on here uh, for, for that channel. Let's uh, turn a frequency measurement on for channel 2. And we can actually see the frequency measurement is showing something. It's bouncing all over the place. It's like 5 megahertz. Sometimes it's changing. Well, part of that problem is we're undersampling that signal. We're aliasing it. Okay, and if we kind of play around with sweep speed, we can actually see that signal doing some all kinds of wacky things. That blue signal is the one that's that is actually 15 megahertz, and we're undersampling it here by by playing around with the sweep speed. So it actually can look like a very very low frequency signal here, but that's just because we're undersampling it. It's the same effect that makes wagon wheels go backwards in the old western movies, uh, because you've got this undersampled frame rate, if you will, undersampled sample rate. Or if we speed things up and do a single shot, I can very easily see that 15 megahertz signal, and there it is. But if I speed things up to see that, now I can't see the one and a half kilohertz signal because it's running, it's too, it's too slow. I can't see uh, even one cycle of it. If I slow things down so I can see, you know, a cycle of that, I can't see a, I can't see anything on the 15 megahertz signal anymore. And it really comes down to what's going on with sample rate. Because as I bring the sweep speed up or the time, time per division up, I get to the point where I can actually see, you know, my high frequency signal. But that's because now, in this case, I'm running at 100 nanoseconds per division. At 10,000 points, that gives me 5 giga sample per second that I'm running here. Okay. Uh, but now it, it isn't helping me in terms of looking at the lower frequency signal. So how do we get around that? The, real, the way we get around that is let's adjust things for our low frequency signal. Okay. And, but now we're undersampling the high frequency signal, so we need to bring the sample rate up. Now the way that we do that is we're not going to change the um, horizontal time base or the uh, time per division on the horizontal scale. We're going to leave it at 100 microseconds per division. But now I want to do more sample points, so what I'm going to do is acquire more data. So instead of doing 10,000 points here, we'll adjust the record length to be something greater than 10,000 points. Let's bring it down to say, or up to say a million points. Now if we do a million points, now at 100 microseconds per division, a million points gives me one giga sample per second. That's going to sufficiently oversample this 15 megahertz signal that I've got here so I can accurately see it. So even though I've got a, a million points going across the screen here, okay, obviously the screen isn't showing all of them, but the scope is actually measuring on all of them. And this is something that's unique about, or not unique, but I should say there are scopes on the market that even when you set the record length to be very long, like we have here, a million sample points, and you know, some of the scopes will only make the measurements on the thousand or so points that are displayed on the screen. The scope doesn't do that. This one will make the measurements on the actual sample points, even if it's not showing all of them. In fact, if we do a single shot on this, I can see I've got an accurate measurement on frequency on both of these. And if I zoom in, okay, I'm just going to zoom way in on this. 
Okay, now I can actually see each of these measurements. So there's my high frequency one. I'm just kind of moving that back and forth. I can see my low frequency signal moving back and forth as I scroll back and th back and forth through this record. Okay, we can actually see me walking through here. So you can actually see each of those signals at the same time. So the key here was to ensure that we captured both of these signals uh, accurately by setting the record length long enough so that the resulting sample rate is high enough to oversample each of the signals sufficiently. And that's really the trick. That's all you have to do.